crazy machine there, Matt. Alright, so uh, we're doing a pressure operation right now. This is the iRaw DJ2745. This unit is brand spanking new. They gave it to me with uh, 44 hours on it. Probably has about 100, 125 hours on it right now. We've been running two shifts with it. Basically, uh, what it does is uh, you bring in your raw material, the dirt. As long as your rocks are smaller than a 24 inch, we call it a two foot minus, put it right in that thing and it crushes it. It sizes all your material, so the biggest one coming out is basically three inches. Um, there's a pile of what we've been doing in the last uh, couple of weeks here. Uh, and that's probably about half the pile. That was That's the pile you were digging in with the uh, Minotaur? That's the pile I was digging in with the Minotaur, yeah. How many yards do you think you've done so far? Uh, about 100 to 125 an hour. Wow. So, yeah. Um, seeing the video, the material is wet, wet, wet. We did a detention pond and we ended up with some uh, softer material. And that just happens to be what it's at right now. And I'm impressed. It's going through. It's uh, processing. It's not clumping up and getting stuck. And we're very, very happy with how that machine is taking it. It's, it's awesome. I ran a crusher before, it wouldn't take that same material. It was just getting too wet and it was plugging up and it was just taking it no problem. So, what does that baby go for? Uh, this unit, brand new, I think is about 800, 850 before the juice. So it's almost the same price as like your Peterson. You got yeah, it's the same thing as the Peterson. job for a month so it's been awesome though this pile of dirt that he's picking at right now came all the way out to these logs it was stacked three high with the excavators we're on the tail end of it right now it was a massive pile like i say the pile that you see here is probably roughly half of what actually went through this machine in the last uh two weeks now so. can, can you change the setting and how big it reduces it to or is it always three inches yeah so three-inch setting that we have it in is almost as small as it can go. It can go a little smaller, but you uh, you actually size that based on the material you have. We saw that it was, it was eating those rocks pretty good. It's a uh, relatively soft rock. It was, it was breaking up. We're going to do a little bit hotter granite stone, uh, but we'd have to open those jaws up a little bit more. Every now and then you get a rock and it, just doesn't seem to crumble, it kind of bounces around in there and uh, doesn't bust up good. So you can adjust it. You can open these up very wide if you want it to. But on a bad rock or a bad, uh, a rough granite rock situation, you probably go eight inches, open it up to eight inches. And then if you really wanted to, you could uh, re-crush it again into a different uh, uh, different size, like a three inch here, or you can put it in like a different crusher, like a bone crusher. We come out of this crusher right into another crusher. So there's a lot that they do with the, uh, the crushing world. I'm just dabbling on it a little bit. Yeah. But uh, I will say I make quite a bit of this uh, processed material. We call it the G3 inch, uh, the G3, and uh, it it 
themselves. They use the uh, inside foundations, outside foundations. They're putting it for yards. They're uh, they're putting it for a driveway basis because of the stone in it. Uh, you know, it just seems to be a, a really, really good product that has lots and lots of uses. And, uh, I, I've been I've been tickled pink with it. So. so, do you see yourself purchasing an IROC? I do see myself purchasing an IROC. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So maybe on the Minotaur, but definitely you think on the IROC. Yeah, it's going to be definite on the IROC. The Minotaur is, is now, a solid baby. What does that have for an engine? Uh, that's running a, a, a cat. I, I don't want to say exactly. I, I think it's 400 horse cat, but I'm not sure. I really don't know. Wow. Yeah. I, I haven't personally played with this one too much. I've done a couple of night shifts on it, but... Uh, I've got my operator that he's been doing it. I've got a mechanic that comes out. He uh, he goes through it every morning and right before every shift. And he's the one that really knows what, what's in there for an engine. I, I don't know. It's it's not a it's not a C18. I don't know what's in it for a motor. But it's, uh, it's pretty good. Whatever it is, there's, a, there's enough there for it. Thank <laughs> you. 